Is Daddy going to show you guys how to shoot? Mm -hmm. Daddy got them their first BB gun. I guess that's appropriate since we moved out to the woods. <laughs> and it matches your guys' hair. This is your safety, okay? See this? closed. You can't see red. Okay. Push the safety. See the red? Mm -hmm. Now the trigger pulls. Okay. No pressure, Daddy. <laughs> Oh. oh! Come show me! One end to the other. Okay, so see what kind of damage it can do to metal. Think about your skin. And that's why we have to be so careful yeah. and learn proper safety <laughs> and handling so we don't do that to our sister. <laughs> Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to help you? Look. Grab it at the bottom. Grab it there. Keep it up. Remember. Okay. Now we're going to load one. So turn it. Put your hand here. Okay. Put it down. Rest the stock against your leg. Okay. Now hold this and pull this up. All the way. All the way. There you go. Now lock it back down. Now you're ready to shoot. Then you need safety. Okay. Now. Take the stock and put it against your shoulder. No way back. This is a hot rain. Remember that. Stock into your shoulder. Okay. What we're going to do? Safety. Push your safety. Now you're ready to fire. Okay. So aim at your target. What you want to do is you want to take your red dot and put it right here. You see that little cutout? You want to line that up. Good girl. Good job. Gun up. Keep it pointed up. Good girl. Do the same thing again. What? You hit it! You knocked it over. She hit it square. If I... So we'll set it up like this. Here, wait. Let's take a picture of Jaden with her can. Alright. Ready? Mm -hmm. Remember to put your red dot right here. Look at the can. Oh, that was close, Zoe. You were right there. You want one more try? Mm -hmm. You can do it. You can do it, Zoe. Hold it steady. Remember to pull the gun back into your shoulder. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Come on, girl. You get feed bags. You can do this. There we go. Okay, now it's ready to shoot. So you can keep it up. Spin it around. Line up your sights. <laughs> ah, close. There Yay! it is. Woohoo! You gotta get Zoe to do it now. And put that dot on the can. It was right you are there. So you're skipping all around it. <laughs> Just take your time and focus. You are so close, Zoe. Do not give up. So close. It's for fun too, okay? This ain't no BB competition. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh, you did it! You did it! Good job! Here comes the first I don't know. <laughs> black water tank flush. Let's see if we can figure out what we're doing. Well, babe, did you survive your first hashtag sanitation Sunday? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Feces Friday. Feces Friday. <laughs> I feel like we're real RVers at this point. Like, now we're legit. We got the certificate. Campers. <laughs> think I've got a van. Yeah, I don't know. How do you do it without a vehicle? We 
get leads, you make the wire longer and you tie it to a better. Oh, interesting. So someone would just store or like a, a battery for this purpose? Yeah. Interesting. Also, we discovered that this is a magical secret door. And we thought it was just storage, but actually it's the girl's bed. So we're gonna have to make some changes. <laughs> Okay. I feel like it's like we're officially moved in after this day, right? Yeah. Because today is the day that we have to give the U-Haul back and we're pretty much done. Yeah. So there's a few boxes that I still have to go through and like organize in the camper, but we're done unloading the U-Haul and we have been done for a few days but we've been using it to kind of like take things to storage and whatnot but we're giving it back today so it's like it's official we're like in it in it I mean really it was probably official a week ago when we moved in but we've been there an official week if I say official one more time I should probably start a count like little in the corner right here ding ding <laughs> oh man so i think we're just gonna get some food and go to the park explore around the area and we find... have to change out the poopy thing <laughs> the oh, black border chain yeah we're official ding our veers now because we changed out the poopy black tank, water tank. <laughs> the black water tank which apparently a family of six fills up in one week <laughs> So that's interesting. We're gonna be pumping that once a week because I can't convince Thomas to go compost toilet yet. I keep telling him, I'm like, babe, all the real RVs do it, but he won't listen to me. So he is gonna pump out the tank once a week. <laughs> Not it. Not it. So anyway, we are official, ding, RVers, and officially, ding, moved in. Because now today is Explore Our Area Day. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. Didn't we do that like on the second day though? No, we haven't been anywhere. Well, we went to Ollie's, but we've been there before. Which by the way, yeah. I can't wait to show you what I got. I got a carpet for the... Ezzy? You too, Ezzy? We didn't forget about you, bud. Anyway, I got a big rug for the trailer, and you too. And I got some trailer. <laughs> he got the shaker thingy. The shaker thingy? The... Oh, the maraca. Yeah, we yeah. went thrifting, and I got some lights, um, some lamps, so we don't have to use the bright lights in the RV, um, and just for style's sake. And then we... My doTERRA shampoo and conditioner and mouthwash and all that good stuff hasn't come in yet. There's a bit of a delay, I think probably because of COVID. Corona. So we stopped and got some soaps and things like that. Also, you are bothering me. <laughs> I'm trying to, so hard to be nice, but like, touched out, dude. Officially, ding, touched out. Ding. <laughs> okay, guys, I guess you're invited to watch our day. All right, so the girls and I were talking while you were dropping the U-Haul off. Right. And we said, although we've been here for a week, it's basically like official now that we no longer have the U-Haul, right? No way out. There's no way out, except to rent another U-Haul, which I'm not paying for, so. <laughs> what? You said official. Oh, official. Ding. Ding. <laughs> Ready? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who's the biggest kid at the park? <laughs> oh my goodness. And of course, Ezzy is over here on the instruments. Good job, bud. 
Did you try the ones over here? Did you try those? Come try them. Oh, yes. <laughs> He's like punching them. That sounded pretty. Can you do it? Wow. Oh my word, it is a banana spider. <gasps> I knew it. Good job, Jaden. He's so cool. His head looks like a skeleton. Oh my gosh. Let's see if we can zoom all the way in on his eyes. What? Look how hey, cool Daddy, he I'm is. Going back. Look at his legs. Matt, did you see the spider? It's pretty awesome, huh, Story? Yeah. I get to swing. This is Sparta. <laughs> you let me down, babe. How do you feel? I'm sad I didn't get farther. Why are you so close to my face? I don't know. So of course we ended up at a park and we discovered this super cool little zip line thing and the kids have been playing on it all day. <laughs> it is the best. And then we're probably gonna go on a little nature walk because there's a really cute, Ezzie, are you climbing over the fence, bud? There is a really cute little pathway down there, so we'll probably go explore a little bit. But this is how we're getting to know our area. Right, bud? Are those spiky? Ah! <laughs> little hippie baby. Whoa! What are you going to do with that? I want to hit something. I am boy, hear me roar. Oh! <laughs> now there's two sticks. Small. You like that one more? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Ezzy! At the beginning of our nature walk, there's lots of kitty cats. Everyone's feeding. Oh, someone's definitely feeding them. Oh, it's a little calico in there. A calico? It's their I cat. thought so. I guess we ran them off though. This is not where we go for the nature walk though. All right, now on to the boardwalk. <laughs> wow, Jaden, look how awesome that tree is. Whoa. It's huge. I want to climb it, but I'm not tall enough to get that branch. Jaden, I just love how prepared you are for this nature walk. Look at that drama. I had no idea. <laughs> I knew we were going somewhere and I needed to look fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> look guys, there's a hill in Florida. <laughs> there's a what is that, mushroom? Whoa. I saw some over there. I thought they were Richies, but I don't know for sure. Mommy, isn't this now, that Not that one, but the ones I saw earlier. It's so oh, it's so it's pretty. So What is it? It says. Oh, it's talking about the. Oh, look at those leaves, like perfectly eaten by insects to where you can only see the veining. I love that. Not in my garden, but in nature. It's pretty cool. And spiders. Oh, there's another huge banana spider. Show me, show me, show me. He's over here. I don't know if I'll be able to focus on him. Red one instead of the, one, the yellow one we found. It's so cool! I don't see it. All yeah. I see it. Oh, <laughs> My kids and their high horse about the environment. Something I can be proud of. Oh, it's the same to the other one down there. Ah, that's funny. Okay, guys, 
Is it? Oh, yuck. Oh, that's sad. Come on. There's so much trash in yeah. Oh, lame. Somebody did, out here. Somebody did senior pictures out here, I bet. Don't run, okay? <laughs> oh, it looks like it opens up up here. I feel so bad for the living creatures in the lake. I know, babe. In this episode, we turn into a documentary <laughs> on how poorly people treat the earth. Well, I guess on him, it's tidal. So everything that's in the creek. Oh, it comes gets, in. pushed in and then it gets stuck. That makes sense. <gasps> Look how pretty. Do not let Ezzy go. <laughs> oh, something is over there, like a turtle. <laughs> or an alligator. It would be a little one, though. Or a girdle. Wow. There's an alligator right there. Really? Yeah. Look at all these bug light <laughs> That's a branch. So, this weekend we've come to discover that I think Zoe needs glasses. <laughs> She couldn't shoot the BB gun targets until she got really close and then she thought our cat was your cat and then she thought that stick was an alligator. So Zoe may have her mama's eyes, <laughs> which is okay. Glasses are cute. I want glasses, right? but I don't need them. It's so pretty. Look how cool he is. He will sting you. Yeah. Even though he's soft and fuzzy. Yeah. That's a cypress. Sign right there. Common. It's a cypress, yeah. Little foot. Little foot? Yeah, the little star leaves. He eats them. Look. The last tree leaf star, leaf tree star. I don't even remember. <laughs> what was it called? No, I don't remember. Leaf star. <laughs> Till they found the valley. Oh, we probably shouldn't read any of that. Yeah, I just saw it. How cool is that? It's really cool. You should keep it and put it in one of your resin things to make a necklace. Oh, yeah. We're gonna put the uh, a cicada. cicada. I found a cicada, um, and it's like black. It was really cool. The pattern was really um, cool. And I'm going to. Mommy's put gonna it get in. your resin kit mm -hmm. so you can make your own little pendant jewelry with yeah. insects in it. Mm -hmm. You're my kind of girl, love. Same at our house. We just found elderberry. That's awesome. Considering I accidentally left my tree at home, we'll just come dig up a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I feel bad because oh, it's empty. They're inside of it. Well, he probably moved on to a bigger shell. We're going down Ravine Trail. Yeah, we're good. How do you like being Mother Hen, Ellie? <laughs> what? You see clear water? 
Wow! I bet you could. Nope, no stopping no, yet. Keep going. Oh. He might run five feet and immediately tries to go over. Tries to climb over it. So I'm gonna make my way into the woods. Come on, boy. Go as you go. You see stuff? Go get the girls. <laughs> His little feet. This is two miles, boy. Dude, if anyone could do it, he could do it. This was the wrong way? Yeah, it's a dead end. Oh. Dead end. Yep. Look at that. Oh. We went the wrong way, Ezzy. Oh. Let's go the other way. Catch up. <laughs> so we are out exploring again, doing a little ravine trail, and there's supposed to be some water at the end of it that you can play in, so. I'll let you know if we actually find it, because the first spot we went to was a dead end. Come on, Etsy! You coming? <laughs> Aww. Did you see the little baby? Mama! What? Mama! You gonna go swimming? Mm-hmm! Wow! As he is ready. All right, so first things first on the quirk list. This door does not want to shut. We have fixed it so many times. You have to put your whole body weight in, right? I shut it and now watch, I'll let go. Oh, look at that. Can you guess how I keep my dog and my cat inside? I don't, they get out daily. The hard part is the wall and the screen door doesn't sit flush with the main door. So, can't even put a lock on it. I'm taking the screen door off because it's ratchet anyway. Oh, so much fun. Try convincing your husband that moving into an RV is a super good idea when the door doesn't even close and the ceiling leaks and the lights don't work. <laughs> we definitely have our work cut out for us, so. Stay tuned for this project and all the other projects to follow. When the screws are stripped and you have to use pliers, this is so much fun. Everybody should buy an RV. Time to get the door off. What? Instead of glass screw, it should come off after this. Yep. Of course, it's a really hard one to get off. Okay, it's open. Ready? Yep. Hear me roar. <laughs> Is that good? That's one project Mama. down. Probably the easiest. 
Mama. But I'm so excited because that means it's like, Mama. what is he? Those are Dada's tools. I feel like this is just the beginning of making this our home. Are you gonna be Mama's helper? You're gonna be the man of the house. <laughs> he knows he has to go to the tools to help Mama. <laughs> Your tools? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna help Mommy do things like take off doors and change lights? Yes, good work, son. Screen doors off. New little hole screwed in. Ta da! <laughs> now let Floki ram into it and see if it opens. Or go stand in the middle of the camper and see if it pops open. <laughs> Good? Oh yeah. Taking off the nasty pleather door frame. <laughs> What's underneath? We're about to find out. Ugh. <laughs> that sounded gross. Is it still weather tight behind there? So just decorative? Yeah, there's weather sealing all around it. Okay. So what I'd like to do eventually is to build like a little wooden frame to go, like frame the door. Oh yeah, would you? <laughs> yes, love. But this will be able to help, now we can hang that screen. There's a lot of things I'd like to do, like buy a house so I'm not working on a camper door at 1030 at night. <laughs> Babe, you're such a killjoy. I'm a sexy killjoy. Well, yeah, that too. Ta-da! Bathroom privacy achieved! It's the little things, guys. It's the little things. Well done, babe. You did it. You like my ratchet? No, I'm not, I'm not scrolling down. <laughs> Mommy is removing all the outdated balances. Maybe. Maybe. Look at what a difference it made in that space. Just taking the curtains off in general. Floki, what are you doing? Thank you. He's like, oh yeah, I forgot. Waldo, you'll be able to sunbathe so much better in here. Does that make you happy? Does it make you happy? <laughs> well, if you made it this far, you have seen the sum of basically what we've been up to this week. We are on our way to finding our very own property to begin homesteading on, to let our children run free on, to really embrace the relationship between animals and people and what we can do for each other and I just hope that I can send out a really good message of how to live more sustainably and more self-sufficiently and 
yeah, that's my goal. So if you're into that, no matter what stage you're in, whether you just like watching it, whether you dream of doing it, or whether you've already been doing it, I would love for you to give your thoughts and encouragements and support. And um, of course, we would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss anything coming. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you. I hope you have gotten your feet in the dirt this week, gotten dirty, and have grown something beautiful. And remember, you're harvesting so much more than just food.